Hi, welcome back to my channel Physics from 5 KSSM. Today we continue chapter 2 pressure on topic 2.1 pressure in liquids part 3. So in this video I will discuss on experiment to investigate factors affecting pressure in liquids. You can refer to your textbook experiment 2.1. This one will become PKS2. Before you carry out the experiment, you need to go through or read through the whole procedure of experiment carefully. Okay, the first one we want to discuss about inference and hypothesis of this experiment. Inference is an early conclusion based on the observation. Normally given a situation or a picture so that you can make a simple conclusion based on that situation or picture given. So for this experiment, the inference pressure in liquid depends on depth of liquid. Hypothesis, the greater the depth of liquid, the higher the pressure in the liquid. The direction must be correct. Eh? Aim to study the relationship between depth of liquid and pressure in liquid. Normally, relationship between manipulated variable and responding variable. Variables for this experiment, manipulated variable is depth of liquid H, responding variable pressure in liquid. We don't have an instrument that can measure pressure directly. Thus, we can represent pressure by difference in level of colored water D or difference in height of water column D between two water levels in the U-tube. The constant variable in this experiment is density of liquid. Okay, because for the whole experiment, we use the same liquid, eh, water. Apparatus, 500 milliliter measuring cylinder, silicon tube or rubber tube, tissue funnel with its mouth closed by thin sheets of rubber, U-tube, 2 half meter rule and retort stand, Mesh, uh, material, water and food colouring. So we need to add colour to the water in the U-tube so that we can see the level clearly. The procedure, procedure must include three main steps. The first one is method to control manipulated variable. So in this experiment, manipulated variable is depth of liquid. So how you fix the depth? Okay, so we can look at number two here. Immerse the tissue funnel into the measuring cylinder until the depth H equals 4 cm. So this statement is method to control manipulated variable. Determine and record the difference in height of water column D between the two water levels in the U-tube. This one is method to measure responding variable. And the third one is repetition. So you repeat steps for depths H, 8, 12, 16 and 20. Meaning you need to repeat 4 times in order to produce 5 set of data. Okay, so you set up the apparatus as shown here. Okay, you can see this is a tissue funnel. So the mouth of the tissue funnel is covered with thin rubber sheets. Okay, so this one uh, we will carry out uh, the experiment by using this setup. Okay, now you watch the video and observe how the experiment is carried out and try to record the readings. Record the data in the table provided. One is to relate between pressure and depth of liquid. <coughs> so this is the sulfonal. The mouth of the sulfonal is covered with thin rubber uh, sheets. Video is measuring cylinder filled with water about 1000 uh, milliliter water. Connect the tissue funnel to the U tube by using a rubber tube or silicone tube. Uh. So uh, fill in the U tube with colored water so that you can see the level uh, clearly. Make sure the level are the same uh, before you immerse the tissue funnel. I use two retort stand, one to clamp the YouTube and one to clamp the tissue funnel so that when you immerse the tissue funnel, it does not move. Huh? And make sure the level uh, are the same before you immerse the tissue funnel. Now immerse the tissue funnel into the water. Okay. 
okay you can measure the depth of water 4 cm 8 cm 12 cm 16 cm and 20 cm so the initial value of depth of water that we want to, to use is 4 cm make sure the mouth of the tissue funnel or the bottom part of the tissue funnel is in line with the line of 4 cm then we clamp the tissue funnel so that it does not move while measuring the depth so you can see here yeah, it's already depth 4 cm so now we can uh, record uh, the difference in level of colored water or difference in height of water column uh, in YouTube. Okay, repeat the step by immerse the tissue funnel to depth of 8 cm. Clamp it. And record the difference in level of colored water or difference in height of water column. Okay, you repeat the same step by immerse the tissue funnel to depth of 12 cm. Okay, record the difference in level of colored water in the YouTube. Next, immerse the tissue funnel to depth of 16 cm. Okay, record. You can record the difference eh, in level of colored water in the YouTube. Continue eh, uh, the step by immerse the tissue funnel to depth of 20 cm. Then record the difference in level of colored water in the table provided. Okay, so we have done the experiment. So you can record all data in the table provided. This is only a suggested uh, result of experiment. You can try and get your own readings eh, throughout the experiment in the lab. Okay, so for the 4 cm of depth, we get the reading of D is 2.8. For that 8 cm, D equals to 4.6. For that 12 cm, we get D equals uh, 8.4 cm. For depth of 20 cm, we get D equals to 10.2 cm. So the, the result may be differ, depends on the apparatus that we use okay so maybe you will get different reading as this one okay based on the data we want to plot a graph of d against h so you set the scale suitable scale okay uh, avoid odd scale you set the scale which is uh, even and uniform Make sure the graph that you draw is large graph. Huh? You can transfer all the points correctly, the five points into the graph, and then draw best fitted line. So you get a straight line passes through the origin. Now write down the conclusion for this experiment. What can conclusion can be drawn from this experiment? D 
Based on the graph, the difference in level of colored water is directly proportional to depth of water, or difference in level of or difference in height eh, of water column eh, also can is directly proportional to depth of water. Okay, what is the relationship between water pressure and depth of water? Pressure in liquid is directly proportional to depth of liquid. So we can see because of the difference in level uh, represent pressure. So we can write down relationship between pressure and depth of liquid. Precaution, eye level is perpendicular to the scale of meter rule to prevent parallax error. Because this experiment, we use meter rule. Eh? Okay, make sure you write complete report for this experiment. So I think that's all for this uh, video. I will continue with the next experiment which is relate pressure and density.